What's up guys? Today's day one of the, uh, where it was supposed to be day one of the uh, Copart BMW rebuild project. But um, my camera was failing, I lost out on some audio. And uh, so I'm just scrap that and we're just gonna go over the work that was done, moving forward, uh, the surprises that I found, and uh, just overall where we're at and where we're going next. So, Let's check this out. So, my first surprise of this build was actually pleasant. The uh, radiator, let's get underneath it, actually. Um, the radiator is from CSF. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they make the high temperature, uh, like race radiator that is supposed to do like 25% lower uh, coolant temperatures. I'm probably gonna steal that and put that in my car. Another unpleasant surprise was this expansion tank here. Uh, actually, you can probably see that along the edge. I believe it has a leak, because I noticed a drip down here on the floor is dry now. And uh, so if you can see that uh, little trail there coming off, so the expansion tank will probably need to be replaced. <laughs> Discovered catless downpipes, so that was a pleasant, su pleasant surprise also. So if you haven't noticed yet, I got most of this taken apart up top. The charge pipe was on really loosely, so I'm assuming that there was an aftermarket charge pipe on here, and they just took that off when, uh, when the car got sent to auction. Uh, the rest of this is pretty dirty, but that's mostly because of the ash from the wildfires that we've been getting. I didn't get it in here until a little too late, so picked up a lot of ash. All of my cars were like that. Corvette's got a bunch of ash. Another Beamer's got a bunch of ash. So it wasn't this bad initially. So that leads to this intercooler here, which I believe is an arm intercooler. Uh, just because the it uses the factory hookups and arm is I think the only brand that did that I'm not a fan of the arm intercooler I sent back two of them for my car because it uh, it wouldn't stay hooked up under boost so if anybody wants this though it's free uh, it is the large uh, what is this I can't tell how many inches that is but also we got the BMS comb filters here need to be cleaned up but still usable for sure I'll probably put a factory air box back on it so I'm not really that concerned about it but in case you are wondering why this is a part it's because I gotta take a, the uh, alternator out in order to get to the alternator this has to be removed intake manifold and you gotta move up the uh, oil filter housing because this is kind of under it. I've seen, I saw one guy like grind this down, but I'll just take it off. It's not that big of a deal. Gotta change the oil anyway. So I did get the uh, transmission drained and the transmission pan off. If you can see here, there was very little, if any, uh, metal in the transmission fluid and I didn't see any in the pan so that leads me to believe that the issue with this probably lies in the solenoids or the uh, mechatronic unit itself so solenoids are in the house and next uh, opportunity I'll get them on the car and uh, refill the transmission fluid I got that too all of this from FCP Euro love them and uh, We'll give it a shot and see if she moves. But other than that, 
the next plan is to get rid of this bumper because I'm not a fan of fiberglass if you can see this doesn't line up at all so another thing if anybody wants it hit me up it's the 1m type needs a little paint maybe someone who if you know somebody at a body shop they can probably make that look better but I'm not dealing with it I've already ordered a m3 style bumper uh, OEM material so guaranteed fitment and I'm going to put that on here or do a complete LCI retrofit and take my front end and my hood put it on here take these headlights and the new bumper that I just ordered and put it on my car because I've always wanted an M3 bumper on my car but you can't they don't make the M3 bumper for the LCI's they only make the 1M and M4 type so I'll take the old headlights whatever get them retrofitted anyway but um that might be the plan park it right here do them at the same time so that's it for today um I appreciate you for checking it out I'm trying to get these videos up once a week just for updates and um and another car coming so I really need to get this out of here quickly because I need this garage space honestly because I don't want the other car sitting outside you'll understand once you see it um and then I got an investment opportunity coming up so I gotta, gotta get the money out of this thing quickly so check with the IG page because videos will be coming up quick because uh, I gotta get this thing moving I wanted to vlog the removal of the transmission fluid but camera problems and everything else kind of ruined that so that's what you got little update this was day one look out for day two man i'm gone